This recipe is on how to make fried sesame balls with sweet ube jam. The filling is a sweet pudding-like jam made with purple grated yam, sweet coconut milk, sweet condensed milk, and sugar. This recipe makes delicious, crispy, and chewy sesame balls with a sweet filling. These are the ingredients you will need for the ube jam filling. 14 ounce of grated purple yam, fresh or frozen. 2 ounce of water. 14 ounce of coconut milk. 3 4 cup of granulated sugar. And 1 4 cup of sweetened condensed milk. Adjust the sugar to your preference. In a non-stick pan, add in your water and sugar and stir over medium heat. Add in your purple yam. Make sure it is thaw if you're using frozen. Add in your sweetened condensed milk and your coconut milk. Stir these together and bring to a boil over medium heat. When it starts to boil, lower the heat and then use an immersion blender to smooth the ube. If you don't have an immersion blender, don't worry, it will still be delicious. You can also remove and place it into a regular blender and blend for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. I still like to have little bits of the yam in my filling, so I'm only blending for just a few seconds. Make sure to stir constantly, scraping down the side of the pan until it is thick. This should take about 30 to 40 minutes. The longer you cook the jam, the thicker it will be. If you would prefer your jam to have a glossy seam, stir in a teaspoon of coconut oil. I omitted this when I was making. When the jam becomes a thick paste, turn off the heat and remove and place it into a container for storage. If you want to be able to roll your ube filling into a bowl, you'll need to chill it in the refrigerator overnight. Otherwise, you can use it after 30 minutes that it is cool. It will still be sticky. A knee for the dough. One bag of glutinous rice flour, 16 ounce. One cup of rice flour. 3 4 cup of potato flakes. One can of coconut milk, which is 400 ml. 1 and 1 4 cup of warm water. 1 and a half tablespoon of baking powder. A half to 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil. And 1 cup of sugar. In a large bowl, add in 3 4 cup of mashed potato flakes and 1 cup of warm water. Mix these together. For the other 1 4 cup of warm water, you're going to save that and use that later towards the end. Add in glutinous rice flour 1 bag, which is 16 ounce. Add in one cup of rice flour. Add in one cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. 
Add in one and a half tablespoon of baking powder. I'm using a teaspoon scoop, so that's why I'm using so many scoops. Add in the one can of coconut milk, which is 400 ml. Mix these ingredients together and then use your hand to knead the dough. While kneading the dough, the mixture will be a little bit dry. You're going to add in your 1 4th cup of warm water, but just add a little bit, about a tablespoon at a time. Your dough should not be too wet. Use your own discretion and do not continue to add the warm water to the mixture if the dough is already too wet. The dough should be smooth, slightly sticky, but manageable. Add in half to one teaspoon of vegetable oil. The dough is ready, place it into a plastic bag and let it sit for 30 minutes. The plastic bag will keep the moisture inside, or you can cover it with a saran wrap and a towel over. To make and assemble the sesame balls, you will need sesame seeds, one bag, I'm using white sesame seeds, the ube jam, and the dough. Using a cookie scoop, scoop out dough and roll into a ball. Flatten out the dough with the palm of your hands. Place a filling into the center of the flattened dough. If you made them into balls, use that. Otherwise, if you're using your sticky paste that is freshly made, then use a spoon to scoop out the amount that you prefer. Pinch together the top so that the dough is now encasing the filling. Roll the dough in the palms of your hands so that it forms a nice ball. Roll the dough in the sesame seeds. In the palm of your hands, roll the ball and gently press the sesame seeds so that they stay intact and the excess are removed. And then continue and proceed to repeat this until done. Heat the vegetable oil until it reaches the desired temperature of 315 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also test to know when the temperature is right 
by placing a wooden chopstick in the oil. If small bubbles form around the chopstick, then the oil is ready for frying. You will need enough vegetable oil to cover the sesame seed balls. The amount of vegetable oil will vary depending on the size of your pot. Cook these for about 6 to 10 minutes or longer, all depending on how big you make your sesame balls. When they are golden brown and ready, remove from heat and let them cool before serving. And here is the final product of our fried sesame seed balls with ube jam filling. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.